All right, scientists, here we go. First, I'll read the card shown, and remember, you can write down your evidence if you think it's strong or weak. If you choose to do that, you can just write the card's number, or you can say it out loud. Evidence card one. Arc Island temperature on one day, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that strong evidence or weak evidence? Evidence card 20. Creek Island daily high temperatures in August. Notice the line plot and all the data there. Do you think that that counts as strong evidence or weak evidence? Evidence card 15. Arc Island daily high temperatures in August. Do you think that's strong or weak? Evidence card seven, Creek Island precipitation on one day, 20 millimeters of rainfall. Would that be strong evidence or weak evidence? Evidence card 18, Blue Island daily high temperatures in August. Notice the range and see if that would count as strong or weak evidence. Evidence card 11, Blue Island precipitation on one day, 38 millimeters of rainfall. Would that be strong or weak evidence? Evidence card 16, Arc Island temperature in August. It was hot for the whole month. Is that strong or weak evidence? How about evidence card 17, Blue Island temperature in August. Some days were very hot. Strong or weak? And evidence card 21. Blue Island total precipitation in August, 199 millimeters. Now, let's look back at all the cards. Here's an example of how I sorted them. You can compare what you wrote or said with what I put. What do you notice about all the evidence that's strong? That's evidence card 15, 18, 20, and 21. What do all of those cards have in common? For example, I noticed they all have data for a whole month. How is that different from all the cards with weak evidence? Look at evidence card 1, 7, 11, 16, and 17. What do all of those have in common? I notice they all happen to have enough information just about one day. So, here's a question. Which island's weather will continue to be the most like the weather where the orangutans live? Claim A. Arc Island's weather will continue to be the most like the weather where the orangutans live. Claim B. Blue Island's weather will be continue to be the weather where the most like the weather where the orangutans live. Or claim C. Creek Island's weather will continue to be the most like the weather where the orangutans live. Card 13 was really strong evidence in Chapter 1 scientific argument. Card 13 said, orangutans live in some of the hottest, rainiest places on Earth. Do you think we might need that card still for some of our evidence? I vote yes. This card is important evidence because it describes what kind of weather the orangutans need. Scientists need to have enough information to choose a claim and they need strong evidence to make the argument convincing. Let's think about what evidence we might be missing. Are we missing any temperature data that would help us make a convincing argument? Lucky for us, we have a month of temperature data for every single island, so we are lucky there. What about precipitation data? Do you think we have enough or do you think we need more? I think the only evidence card we saw was Blue Island's total precipitation in August. So we might need to ask the WPO for some more additional evidence. That precipitation data will be one kind that I will ask them for. And it will be so important to ask for the total month of August, definitely in millimeters. I'll request that and I will get back to you and let you know. So far, we have been working on how to predict weather so that we can decide which island is the best for the orangutan reserve. 
Remember our question for chapter two. Which island's weather will continue to be the best for the orangutans? Remember, if we know the temperature range for a whole month on each island, we can predict what the temperature will be like in the future so that we can know which island will continue to have weather just like where the orangutans live. That is your biggest takeaway from today. Now, you guys have a fun assignment to do if you choose to. Here is your lesson reflection. This is an optional challenge activity, your chapter two home investigation, comparing temperature ranges. On the next slide, you'll see a challenge to do at home. Pause the video if you want to write down any notes. Some of you might have it already printed with, for you, which is great. Here's what the directions say. Number one, choose a far away place that you want to investigate. It could be a place where a relative lives or somewhere that you want to travel. Number two, have the adult or someone near you, maybe an older brother or sister or cousin, help you look at the daily high temperatures in that faraway place for the past 30 days. Then discuss the data and use it to complete the table and questions on the next few slides. Here is your data table. This table will help you write down the highest high temperature and the lowest high temperature, and then you can use that to create your range. If you really want to challenge, create a line plot of all 30 days, and then you decide what the range is. After that, you have some questions to answer. Predict tomorrow's high temperature in your faraway place that you chose. Take all the data and decide what you think tomorrow's, tomorrow's temperature might be. Then, explain why you think so. Answer these and you are done. Next up, chapter two comes to a close in lesson five. See you then.